Well, we finally did it. Are you looking for an easier way to program your props that requires no programming yet allows you to retain complete control? One that is quick to set up and inexpensive as well? If so, then I think you'll be as excited as I am in the new DIY RC controller from Atticor. Now, although this bears my name, I'm not the one who's making this available. Uh, the fine folks over there at Atticor took my concepts and did all the heavy lifting to turn this into a reality. Now, in order to get started, you can pick up a kit uh, with all the necessary parts for the transmitter and a completed assembled receiver board uh, directly from Atticor. And if you'd rather not solder up the board uh, for the transmitter, uh, the Atticor will be happy to do it for you. Extra 20 bucks, great deal, I think. So, um, now as you use this system, you're only gonna need one transmitter. You can use this over and over and over again. And if you'd like to use the system on other props, all you need to do is pick up another receiver board and these run 25 bucks. So each of your props can run off of a $25 controller. Now, the system currently allows you to control up to six analog um, outputs for your servos and eight digital pins, which you can use for LEDs, triggering other boards, as we're gonna see in a little bit when I demo it, um, and uh, relays, so motors and solenoids will work well with the system. And it also includes both a high and a low trigger input. You can use one or both of those if you need them. Now, the board uh, inputs have two joysticks. You can see here, two slider switch, um, a couple of switches, on-off switches, and then the rest are in buttons. So there's no programming skills that are required for this. You can make adjustments to things like the servo limits and the servo direction, uh, enable or disable the triggers, uh, put in your re-trigger delays, but all of those settings are done from a very easy, straightforward text file that's stored on the SD card on the receiver board. So just like a standard RC controller, you can live puppeteer servos with this. Um, in fact, you can do four separate uh, props at the same time by just toggling on and off between the, the two switches into the four settings. However, what sets this controller apart from all the others is that you can wirelessly record and edit your routines on four separate independent tracks that can be redone until you're happy with each individual track. Um, and then you save it to the SD card and uh, it's then available for triggered playback after that. So it's, this becomes a standalone uh, triggerable prop controller. So um, you, you'll no longer need the transmitter once you're happy with, with your routine, just this. This is what goes into your prop. So enough talking, let's take a look at how easy and fast this is to set up a new routine on your props quick look at how uh, easy it is to program your own board. You have four separate tracks. Track one is uh, left joystick, track two is right joystick, track three is your slider switches, and track four are the two switches and your button. Now when you do track one, track one is your timing track, and uh, you can do that individually or you can do the other uh, ones at the same time and then go back and edit them individually as you see fit. I usually like with a character like this to do both of my joysticks at the same time, so I usually record uh, the right joystick as well as the left onto track one, but you don't have to do it that way. So to enter programming mode, all you're gonna do is press and hold program, and then press and release the record button, and you'll see a single flashing blue LED indicating that we're in track one. Now, I am also using this wee little talker to provide the audio, so I am going to trigger that as well um, so I know when to stop uh, my recording of the sh other mechanisms. So, we'll go ahead and get started, and to do that, you just press and release the record button. It gives you a few seconds uh, to get started, and then you can go ahead and start programming by just moving your joysticks. Now, 
for it to learn. <laughs> When your track is done, press and release the record button and track one is recorded. Now, if you want to see what you did, you can just press the play button and you can watch and see what, uh, what you recorded, see if you like what it did. And if you're happy, then you can go on to uh, recording the next track. Now, say I'm happy with that track and I want to go to the next one. Well. I've already done both the joysticks, so track two, I'm happy with that. To, to move through the tracks, all you do is, is hit that program button. But say that I didn't like that track and I wanted to redo it, I could just as easily hit the record button and redo that track one. And I can keep going back and forth um, until I'm happy with the track. So once I'm happy, all I do is press and release the program button. And now you'll see it's flashing two flashes. Well, I like uh, my current programming for, for the other joystick. So I'm just going to hit program again and I'm going to get to track three. Now I don't like what I did in track three. Um, those are the slider switches. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the record button again. And now once it gives me those couple seconds, I can go ahead and move. And you'll see that tracks one and two are playing at the same time. So I can see and synchronize all my movements of all my tracks at the same time. Now you'll see with this track I didn't have to push the record button to end it because all the timing is run off of track one so it automatically ends when track one expires. I like that so I'm gonna go ahead and keep that so I can advance up to the next track, which is track four, which is the buttons. So say I didn't like those. Um, I also have a little LED here. So say I wanted to, um, to turn on the LED as well. So we'll go ahead and redo that. Now for my situation, all I'm gonna be doing is turning on that LED and triggering the two boards at the beginning of the routine. You know, depending on what you have hooked up, you may be using this a lot more than that. So I'll go ahead and push record one more time. I'm gonna hold down those two buttons and I'm gonna turn my eye on. And you can see that eye, I'm just switching it. That's an on-off switch. So if it was eyes, I would have it fully turned on through the whole period. Now at the end of the routine, I turn his eyes off. Don't have to push that record button. So say I really like that routine or I wanna check it again, you know, I can hit play, it'll play through the full routine. When I'm happy with it, all I do is go ahead and push and hold this for three seconds and then release it. And now it is back and that is now saved. I can go ahead and turn my transmitter off, fully recorded. Now by either using the PIR or using my push, push button, I can trigger that routine. And with that, the programming is set. You are done. So I hope that answers some questions. Uh, again, if you have any more questions, we've got some videos on the site um, or you feel free to, to ask your questions down in the comments and we'll see if you, we can get those answered for you. But as you can see, super simple, super fast. And again, you can buy all the receiver boards you want for $25. Uh, you know, the initial kit when you first buy it uh, is under $70, but once you buy the transmitter, you don't have to buy it again. All you do is replace or get additional um, receiver boards. Now, of course, the controller can still operate as a traditional RC controller and should work with motor controllers that accept an RC input. We've tried it with uh, the Servo City uh, motor controller and a couple others, um, and we're still trying to test it on um, additional motor cr controllers. Uh, in the future, we'll have our own that'll be uh, added onto this board, but in the meantime, you can use it with a lot of the other controllers out there. Um, I'm using it on a new prop that I'm working on, um, you'll see it here, and uh, if you have any ideas what this prop may uh, eventually turn into, leave your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear your, your thoughts. So we're working on several exciting updates um, to the system, so make sure to stay tuned for the announcements on that. Now the new board ship with the brand new updated multi-track uh, programming already installed. If you've already purchased a kit, you can download the current software uh, from the Adicore site uh, or from the forum. Um, and I'll add a link down below for that, uh, as well as where you can purchase uh, a kit if, you, if you're interested in getting one of these for yourself. Uh, 
as well as where all the download links are, um, all the wiring diagrams, uh, the instructional videos to, to set it up, um, they're all on the site. If you're looking for a way to simplify programming your props and to do it economically, check this out. I'm sure you'll find many, many applications where this controller will be the perfect solution. So until next time, keep on building.